So we have the drawing panel, we have the point with random uh, X and hopefully Y coordinates. I'm only leaving mine with random X coordinates. You need to make sure yours has a random X and a Y coordinate. Now we're ready to display the point on the screen. So I had a print point. How do we display it on the screen? Well, that uses the graphics object. Make sure at this point you've already created your drawing panel, which created the panel. And what we're really gonna use is this graphics object G. So we go G dot. Now this one, fill oval. All right, so these parameters are important. Arg zero is the X coordinate up of the upper left corner of the oval to be filled. The Y coordinates, the Y coordinate of the, uh, I can't read. The Y coordinate of the upper left corner of the oval to be filled. So the first two X, Y coordinates are the upper left corner of the oval. The second and third, they're not coordinates. They're actually the width and the height. I use the variable radius and a radius is half of a diameter. So if I double my radius, I will have a diameter. So R2 and 3, I'm just going to double my radius for these. All right, so fill oval. I need an X and a Y coordinate. The good news is dot, the reason we're using point is because it has an X, Y coordinate. So that's my X, Y coordinate. Now I'm going to do my radius, which is right here. times two on both of these so they act like a diameter. Okay, here we go. Now remember my initial Y coordinate is zero. Uh, I don't want it to be all the way at the top of the screen, so I'm just gonna default to 200. That's again, not random, but I just don't want it to be at the top of the screen each time. All right, so here is my point. Now I'm putting the mouse in my best job of getting the center of the point and it's 47,201. But you can see that down here it's 45,200. This is not the center of the point. This is the upper left corner of that oval that got drawn. Uh, so you need to adjust these a little bit or, or your point's going to be off center a tiny bit and you won't really notice that until it's chasing the target and then you will notice it. All right, fill oval. There we go. You do want to make sure that your color is correct. We're going to change the color later on because our target's going to be red. So we have this color called dot color. I just chose black. So we're going to set color. And look at that, it already picked dot color for me. All right, in case it didn't pick dot color, you wanna put dot color in here. We'll have a little fun and put background color in there in a second and you'll see what happens. All right, so just gonna create a black dot wherever the X, Y coordinates are. All right, if I put background color, hit play. Oh no, we don't see anything. It did draw the dot, it just drew it the exact same color as the background, so I don't know where it is on the screen. So you got to make sure right before you draw that your color is correct, and that'll be dot color. We have created some methods before from little pieces of code. These lines right here, the set color and the fill oval, you're going to put into a method called draw point, which is if you look over here, somewhere in here, draw point. Now it takes only a point. That's because dot color and radius are av available everywhere inside of your class. The only thing that's not available everywhere is dot. So when you call draw point, all you're gonna do is send it dot. And then these two lines are going to go into the draw point method. And again, you can double click on draw point, double click here, and it'll go right there inside of your code.